In this C Weekly Builder review, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about the software C Weekly. If you have any questions, please comment them down below, and I'll also be sure to leave a discount and link down there so you can always get your money's worth for C Weekly. C Weekly Builder is a user friendly professional web builder with no code. So, this is what you should see once you're first signed up or even logging in again. So, for beginners, there's not too much going on, it isn't too complicated to start off with. And for beginners, this is what you should see once you've first signed up to the software. So it says, welcome, great to have you on board. You can always access this getting started to wizard later on the C Weekly menu. So right here it says, new to C Weekly or whether you're a pro. And you can actually choose these two to get started on the software. So all the way up in the top left hand corner is the WordPress logo. And then to the right of that is actually the C Weekly logo slash text that is there. You can actually go ahead and click on that and visit the site right there. To the right of that you have notifications and then to the right of that you have a new post, media, page or even user. Below that on the left hand side we have the dashboard menu and then below that we have posts, media, pages, comments, appearance, plugins, users, tools, settings, custom fields and CPT UI. All of these little sections have other little sections within them and you can pretty much just see what they do. So as you go down here in the C Weekly section, we also have the theme, the settings, role editor, and getting started. And then that's pretty much it for this section. So to get started with the C Weekly, you're gonna go ahead and click new to C Weekly, and then click get started right here. Once you say let's get started, it should say let's choose a theme. You can actually switch your theme later on in the appearance menu. So right here you can actually have the C Weekly one, a default one, Bloxy, 2021, or even 2022. We're going to go ahead and stay with the main one. Once you're happy with your decision, you can go ahead and click next on the software. Next it should open up your settings and it says let's tweak a few things. You can change these settings later on on their respective panels. So we have the basics right here, we have your site icon, site title, site tagline, and then the editor and the C Weekly API stuff all the way over here. So we're going to go ahead and actually just keep the title the same since we are on the demo, and then to keep the tagline the same, and we're not going to upload a site icon. So once you're happy with your title or tagline or even icon, you can go ahead and click next. Once you click next, it should say the basics, see weekly done. It also says getting to know a new web builder can be a bit overwhelming. So we have put together this guide to help you get started. So you can actually go ahead and if you are a beginner, you can go ahead and actually follow this guide thoroughly and pretty much it helps you get started on the software. So I'm gonna go ahead and click next. And there you go. Now it says build. Seems like you're ready to take your first flight. You can go ahead and build your web. So the documentation is here. You also have support, discourse, and design library. We're gonna go ahead and click let's go. So now it's taking us to the dashboard menu and this is pretty much what you should see as your first logging in or even logging in again. So it should say the dashboard up here, we have the site health status, a quick draft, at a glance, WordPress, and activity. So we're gonna go on to the left hand side now and go on to the post section. On this section, all you wanna go ahead and do is this just a section for posts. And right here, it's already got a quick demo for you that has been created by the software, but we're gonna go ahead and just trash that for now. So now you wanna go ahead and click add new posts to go ahead and actually add your first post on this software. So it should take you to this page once you've clicked it. And it's pretty much just a page where you can go ahead and actually type something. And we're gonna go ahead and type welcome to the review so once you've typed that you can go ahead and just click publish in the top right hand corner and then click publish again and it should say your post has been published so that's pretty much an easy quick run through of how to go ahead and post the things on this section up here we have different screen views and then we also have titles and scaling and stuff like that you have your blocks and posts on the right hand side and then on the left hand side it pretty much gives you a navigator so now all the way back at this section you can see our post that we just did is right here it doesn't have a title so if we were to quickly edit it again we can click add title up here and then go ahead and just name this reviews i'm going to go ahead and click update in the top right hand corner and then hide back to the other page so back at this page we can see now we have our title called reviews and pretty much just our post we can see the author the categories 
the tags and when it was published. Back to the left hand side on the media section, once we click on that, we can go on to this media section. Pretty much the same style of the post section, however it is just the media library and if you want to go ahead and add one, you just click add new to the right of the media library. You want to go ahead and actually drop files to upload if you have any files, but right now I don't have any files so we can't actually do this. Personally for you guys though, if you had any files, this is where you do it and it's pretty much as simple as that. Back to the left hand side on the pages section, once we click on that, we have this section right here where we have a privacy policy and a sample page. This is just your pages section where you can go ahead and actually create a page. And again, these are just pages created by the demo, but we're gonna go ahead and click add new. So once you click on add new, it's exactly the same as the other thing we wrote before. You go ahead and actually write and design everything. And once you've done that, it should save or you click publish and it should go onto your pages section. So if we were to write again, welcome to the review page and then just click publish again, click publish. It should now, once we go onto the top left hand corner and click view pages, you can now see the one we just made and we forgot to add a title is right there. So you can actually edit these, quick edit them, trash them or even view them if you want to do so. And then pretty much just go through these and see what they do. Back to the left hand side on the comments section, once we click on that, you can see we have the comments section. Now this is just a section where any comments could come through if you have any comments on your web. Back to the left hand side onto the appearance section now, once we click on that, we can now get into the more fun sides of the software. So rather than having all the information on, we can now actually go onto the appearance section where we can design the web and pretty much just make it look better overall. So right off the bat, we have a few choices to choose from. You can see if you hover over them, you can actually see the theme details once you click on it and you have a little title, little underline title, and then some tags. So you can go through these with these arrows in the top left hand corner and pretty much see them and see which one you like the most. You can actually have a live preview if you click down here. And once you clicked on that, you can see the live preview. So on the left hand side, you can see all of the features on the website but this is pretty much just the live preview of the website on its own. So now back on this section, you wanna go ahead and choose which one you want to use. We're gonna go ahead and just choose this C Weekly one in the top left and then click customize. Now it's gonna take you to this section where it pretty much just takes you into the more formal sections of the templates. So you can click through all of the content right here and then pretty much just go through this in your own time and start editing and adding your customizations to the theme. Once you're actually happy with what you have edited, you can go either view it in the top right hand corner or click save up in the top right hand corner. And that's pretty much it for this section. Back to the left hand side, we now have the plugin section and this is where you can actually install any plugins to the software. So right now we have three plugins installed by the demo, but you can go ahead and actually add more or apply them if you wish to do so. That's pretty much it for this section. Let's move on to the next one. Back to the left hand side on the users section. Once you click on that, you can actually add new users to the demo if you wish to do so. As you can see, we have my user right here because we are on the demo, it says see weekly demo. But once you have more users and your actual account, you can actually edit it, view it, and then pretty much just see the names, the emails and the roles. You can see how many posts each user has done Right now we have done one since we did do one post, but if you want to go ahead and add new users, you'd add them in the top left hand corner. Back to the left hand side on the tools section, once you go onto that, you can actually go through the tools by importing them, exporting them, seeing the site's health, and importing and exporting personal data. Onto the settings section of the software, you can here see all the settings you have for your software, this is more just the nitty gritty area of the software. Finally, on the custom fields, you can actually go ahead on this and add any custom field groups to the software by just clicking add field group. Once you've added that, you can go through all of this and change the field type and the field label, field name and the default value. And that's pretty much it for this section. All the way down at the bottom now on the main C Weekly section, you can see we have this section right here that we've just started. We started it a while back when we did actually go on to the themes. Now we have your templates, parts, global parts and the settings. And then once you've actually been through it all, you can go ahead and actually collapse the menu and pretty much just fully work on your web, 
going through all of them pages. And there you go, that is it for the C Weekly software review. Overall, I think it's a really decent software for web creation. A few features I liked is how there's a lot of things going on on the left hand side, a lot of cool different features, but all of it is really information based software. In terms of design, there's not very many actual themes or designs. So that would put the software down for me a bit in my books. Would I recommend this software to anyone? Not really. Personally, I think there's a lot more better softwares out there. Again, with better designs and more creative control, but this is more just information based for actually creating something out of it. Overall, I do think it's a decent software though. And if you were to use this, you would be happy with it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.